Hey there, everyone. Uh, this is Valkyrie Tarot coming at you for the Divine Masculine Tarot reading uh, for December 2019. Um, I apologize for the different setup. I actually just had surgery um, on my leg, so I'm kind of <laughs> restricted to a couch right now. Uh, but we're going to try and make it work. Um, that being said, uh, keep in mind this is going to be kind of angled more towards the twin flame dynamics. So whether you identify as a divine masculine or the divine feminine, it's always important to watch both videos so that you can understand uh, the dichotomy of both. Because generally when I'm uh, stepping into an energy, I'm stepping into the energy of that pair. So it may not directly be you. That's fine. That's great. It just kind of depends on whatever, um, you know, energy frequencies I'm picking up on. Okay, hopefully you guys like this. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe, and make sure that you also check out the Divine Feminine reading that'll be coming after this. All right? I say we get going. What do you guys think, huh? I'm just going to kind of put these behind the computer for a second, because I don't have a lot of space. All right, let's do this. All right, um, just like I did last time, I'm going to be doing a um, kind of Celtic cross setup, and we'll see where it goes from there, okay? All of the cards have been pre-shuffled, uh, but I'll shuffle a little bit more on camera with my main deck. This is the Ethereal Visions deck. I absolutely love it. Um, those of you that watch my videos, I use it pretty regularly. All right, so we just had the death card pop up, so there might be an ending coming, um, a good positive end to a situation, maybe letting something go, um, being able to grow and move forward from it. That's usually what the death card means. It also represents scorpionic energy. So um, some of you that are divine masculines might be a Scorpio and or um, be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, here we go. This is in your foundation. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So um, currently, your foundation is not wanting to make an offer or move forward with a um, offer of commitment. What's crossing you is the Justice card in reverse. Okay, so currently not feeling like there's an even give and take, kind of feeling that there has been an injustice somehow. All right, what is above, what is below is the Queen of Pentacles. Again, not wanting to be nurturing, not wanting to make an offer of stability, as is above. Knight of Cups. So thinking about an apology, thinking about um, <clears throat> this relationship, this um, the affection, the feelings that are happening in between. Um, so maybe not being able to make a commitment at this point in time, but thinking about the emotions that you have for this person. In the immediate past, we have the Sun card in reverse. So um, this I generally read as blocked. When it's blocked, that means that the person is not happy. They're suffering from possible emotional um, negativity, um, low vibrational emotions such as anger, fear, um, anxiety, sadness. Um, when the sun is in the upright position, we see success, happiness, um, overall freedom to move forward and do whatever you want. This is also a Leo energy. Uh, Knight of Cups is generally Pisces energy. Queen of Pentacles um, is Taurus in general. Justice is Libra. Uh, Knight of Pentacles is usually... Um, a, oh, wow, I just blanked. <laughs> Sorry, this is what happens when I have surgery. Uh, Knight of Pentacles could be any earth sign. Um, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, or, um, or Virgo. But generally, I like to kind of think of it as Virgo. Uh, I know some people differ. Um, so we got the sun in reverse. Uh, some people also read the sun in reverse as the moon because the moon is the opposite of the sun. So there could be something hidden here that's stopping happiness. Immediate future. We have the seven of swords. So the seven of swords can be um, hiding something, being deceitful, having lies uh, possibly come to the surface. And if we're reading the sun card in reverse like the moon... Um, that usually dictates that things are being hidden, so there may be some lies um, that need to come to the surface here, uh, some truths that need to be spoken. All right, current energy behind you is the, uh, behind the, sorry, divine masculine is the ten of wands in reverse. So uh, the burden's over with. Whatever this has been 
um, you know, weighing on, whatever the situation is, it's over and it's done with. You've carried your load, um, you've gotten to the end, the burden is now gone. Uh, current environment is the page of pentacles. So this is a thought process. Pages are messengers. So you're thinking about making an offer of, uh, you know, commitment or stability, but we see these other cards here in the foundation. You haven't wanted to move forward with the stability and you don't want to make a commitment. Okay. With the, the knight and the queen here, a lot of earth energy coming forward here too. Um, hopes and fears is the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles means learning how to work together. Threes can sometimes mean a third party, but I generally read that as the, um, the three of cups in reverse. So this means hopes and fears is being able to work together towards an outcome in the end. And overall outcome, we have the three of swords in reverse. So uh, letting go of heartbreak, maybe healing, moving forward. So as a divine masculine right now, before we get the confirmation cards out here, you know, we see someone who's not ready to make a commitment. They know things have been uneven. They are unhappy about how things have been going, but they're thinking about this relationship. They're thinking about what's going on. They know that there's some truths that need to be spoken. There have been some lies. There's been some deceit. Some, something was hidden that hurt the divine feminine, uh, feminine and the divine masculine, to be honest. But the burden's over with. They're rethinking this situation. They're hoping to be able to work together in the future to overcome this heartbreak. And the energy of the deck at the bottom is the Nine of Wands. So they're revving up for a final go here. You know, you don't get the Nine of Wands uh, without wanting to put the work in here. So that Nine of Wands means revving up for a final go. So there might be, for those of you that this is identifying with, the Divine Masculine might actually be considering um, coming back and thinking about giving this another another shot here. All right, so we're gonna get some confirmation cards here. Can you tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles, why is it in reverse? Why do we not want to make any movement? We have the King of Wands in reverse. So somebody here had a really bad temper, um, couldn't control their emotions, were very, very passionate, um, but uncontrolled passion. And uncontrolled passion can sometimes lead to anger, frustration, um, and an inability to communicate their needs effectively. So that might be why they didn't feel like making an offer of stability because there was uh, emotional imbalance. Tell me about this judgment card. Judgment card, and we get the King of Pentacles, which is actually a very good card. Lots of Earth energy here. Capricorn, um, you know, type of energy here. Earth energy. So the King of Shields um, over the Justice card, that tells me that there has been an injustice because there, there was a thought or there was a want to have stability in this relationship. But for some reason, all of the other cards around it kind of tipped the scales one way over the other. There's been an injustice. Both people most likely wanted commitment, but they probably didn't know how to get to that point because the emotions were so out of balance. Get this why is the queen of pentacles here why didn't why has there been a refusal of compassion and refusal not wanting to take care of the other one is basically what the uh, queen of pentacles is because of the seven of shields because the work was still being put in um still trying to see what was going to come of this relationship maybe the relationship was too young um to be able to deal with this type of um, intensity at that point but the seven of shields is um, generally depicted as someone you know harvesting from a tree so you need to be able to put the work in plant your seeds watch them grow um, and perhaps the work isn't done yet they're still trying to wait through the process to see if there's an ability to um, see where this will go okay all right above we got the knight of pentacles or sorry knight of cups so this is what's on the divine masculine's mind right now we have the high priestess in reverse so they have not been able to follow their gut they're not following their intuition this is a divine feminine card also so you are on the divine masculine's mind uh, but for some reason they don't feel confident enough to move forward right now I'd almost be surprised if the magician doesn't show up here because 
they haven't been following their intuition. They're not following their gut. Instead, they're, they're all in their head instead of following their heart right now. Not uncommon for a divine masculine also, if those of you are following. All right, tell me about this sun card. Why is, this, why is there unhappiness in the past? All right, so we get the four of swords in reverse. So someone's been resting and recuperating. They've been thinking things through, taking some time away to try and see things more clearly. They're thinking everything through. This is someone who's an overthinker. Um, and they just, whatever was going on, there was obviously a burden here at some point with this Ten of Wands. It was just too much for them. They needed to take a step back and they needed to relax and recuperate so that they could think clearly moving forward. Very similar to the uh, the Hermit type of card. All right, in the immediate future, we have Seven of Swords. So someone feeling, you know, lied to, someone feeling defeated here because the Three of Swords. Okay, so there's heartbreak here. Um, there's definitely been heartbreak you know, the, in this case, the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are not together, just given what's going on here. You know, there's probably been pain on both sides. Uh, knowing how a twin flame journey goes, there's a lot of emotion back and forth. Given this King of Wands, I wouldn't doubt that the two of you are pretty passionate people. Um, the intensity in a twin flame union obviously, you know, enhances all of this. So there's, there's a liar, there's a deceit about heartbreak here. Um... I want to get more about that. Why, why the Three of Swords? What was the heartbreak? Why the Three of Swords here? Because of the Father, also known as the Emperor. So this is the Divine Masculine card. Interesting. Aries energy. Um, heartbreak because someone was a little too controlling, most likely. They were not... Um, they were very calculated in their motions and what they wanted to do. They were very focused on their overall outcome. They, you know, they were very self-centered almost. Uh, same thing can kind of pop up in a high priestess in reverse, someone who's kind of focused only on themselves, not focused on other people. Um, yeah, so we got the divine masculine and divine feminine popping up here in this reading, uh, which is very interesting. So there must have been a lie here. Um, someone must have been controlling or wanting more control, and it caused heartbreak in between. Very interesting. All right. Oh, let's keep this reading going. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands down here. Ten of Wands. We got the Knight of Swords in reverse. So someone came in and cut something out really quickly. And when we see it in reverse, most often it was an emotional response to something. So it wasn't very quickly. It wasn't thought through very well. Um, Knight of Swords, generally an Aquarius type of energy, you know, the, the Knight of Swords in the upright is someone who comes in and cuts out things to make sure that there's a positive um, work forward. But when we see it in reverse, in general, anytime we see a sword in reverse, it, it means that it was an emotional reaction to something. So someone most likely ended this burden, whatever was going on this relationship someone came in swiftly they said something they ended things in the relationship but they weren't thinking it through so they might be having some regrets about this and which is probably why the page of pentacles is popping up here why do we got this here page of pentacles because we got the page of swords married with it okay so this divine masculine is thinking about commitment thinking they're they're looking back at this relationship and they're thinking about that stability that they never offered that they weren't able to offer the page of swords is a student it is someone who looks back and overthinks like looks over not overthinks all the time but really analyzes the whole situation swords are air signs their thoughts page of swords can also be someone who is spying on you online so you may think that you're blocked by this divine masculine but they have ways to reach out to you. Um, they're actually still watching over you somewhat because of just their nature. They might just not know what to say yet and not be able to move forward, okay? So they're probably still weighing their time. Remember, pentacles are slow moving energies, especially if we're looking at the page, it's a very low energy. So this is the thought, they're still hemming and hawing over it. They're still deciding whether or not um, they 
that they're just still deciding what they feel about you, to be honest. And this Page of Swords is just someone who's thinking, they're overthinking it. Um, they're analyzing everything from every angle, and that goes back to that Four of Swords over here. All right, Three of Pentacles. What do we got this Three of Pentacles for? So we want to work together towards what? Wow, Seven of Swords in reverse. We want to work together to move forward out of these lies and deceit to reveal something. Okay, but what, what is the lie or deceit? About not wanting to walk away. Interesting. So it could be that whatever happened here was an emotional reaction. Maybe you guys blew up at each other. Seems like, again, very passionate type of union. Uh, passionate people sometimes say things they don't mean because they're angry. <laughs> um, I'm a Scorpio, believe me, I, I've been there. Um, but they don't want to walk away or they're not able to walk away. And maybe that's what this is about. So they're being able to finally find a way to work together to reveal that whatever was a perceived lie or um, you know something that was thought to be detrimental to this relationship, you know, that it's going to be uncovered. There's going to be talk about it uh, moving forward, most likely. And in the end of it, you're both realizing that you don't want to walk away from this. So the Divine Masculine doesn't want to walk away. Even though they may have said that they did, even though the two of you might be in separation, their heart isn't gone yet. Okay? They're still recovering. They're still recovering from this. And the outcome is Three of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Shields. Okay, so the Nine of Shields is an independent card. Again, lots of Earth energy. Lots of stability that we're looking at here. Um, either financial stability or relationship stability here. Um, the Nine of Shields generally is finding happiness and finding emotional stability and uh, like physical stability, financial stability on your own. Being okay being on your own. Um, as you notice, this, uh, this card depicts this woman standing by herself and there's someone in the distance. She's thinking, oh, I'm covering it. Um, she's thinking about that person in the distance, but she's too focused on what's going on in front of her to be able to really give that other person any, um, any attention, okay? Um, just for shits and giggles. Can I get another clarification on that? Nine of Swords, sorry, Nine of Shields, rather. Yeah, because there's been disappointment in the past. Um, so it seems like the Divine Masculine is just kind of trying to heal themselves. They, they want to heal themselves in order to move forward and move out of this so that they can get over whatever this depression was and this sadness was. There was disappointment in the past, and that's why they're, they're kind of preferring to be on their own right now, because of whatever had happened. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, but I think they need to rest and recuperate right now, and I'll be interested in seeing what the Divine Feminine reading is, because... Um, again, that Four of Swords is telling you rest and recuperate. They haven't moved on. They still care about you. They know that there's some things that they did wrong here, and they really want to be able to work together and move forward, but they're just not ready to yet. They're not ready to yet. The energy is not, yet, not there yet. They care about you. They're thinking about you. They're paying attention to you. They're still analyzing this situation. But they're just not there yet. And right now in the, the future, you know, they're going to heal. they got to heal themselves. They've got to find their own happiness, their own stability. Um, because they've just been so disappointed in the past. You know, uh, at the bottom of the deck, too, we have the hangman in reverse. So this means that they're still unable to see things from your point of view. They're, um, they don't want to make a sacrifice yet. They don't want to lose this independence or this freedom uh, in order to come into this situation. Again, because we have the Emperor here. That's a controlling type of card, and perhaps there was a little bit of a power struggle in the past, especially if we're looking at the High Priestess and the, the, um, the Emperor here. Okay? All right. So what we'll do is, give me a moment. I'm going to clear this up, and then we're going to get some Oracle cards here from Mystic Moon. We're going to do the uh, Spirits of Darkness and Light Oracle and then some messages, uh, Twin Flame Messages, Volume 2. So we're just going to put these over here, actually. I'll put them down here. 
pretty good reading, though. Um, I really think it helps clarify a little bit about the Divine Masculine, because I know my last reading was a little um, interesting. Charge him with my stones. Okay, so we are going to pull three cards for the Spirits of Divination. Sorry, the Divination right here. Again, I'm um, Misty Food. If you're interested, uh, check out her channel. And she's got an Etsy shop where you can order these. This is her newest deck, too. Um, I really like it um, in place of some other Oracle decks. Yeah. Okay, that feels good. Ooh. All right. I will not be reading reverses for these cards. Okay. Um, we're going to pull three cards. So give me three cards here. Three cards about the energy of the divine masculine right now. One, two, I need one more. Energy of the divine masculine. Current energy of the divine masculine. One more card. Okay. All right, we have got Spirit of Time, which is illusion, endlessness, and waiting. So again, remember how I said that the Divine Masculine is just not ready yet. Spirit of Earth, Nature, Grounded, Ancestors. Now, there were a lot of pentacles that came up in that reading, so that's something to think about. Maybe you are an Earth sign, or your Divine Feminine is an Earth sign. But in general, Earth is a slow-moving energy, right? So again, we might need to wait to see things come to fruition, but in the meantime, you need to remain grounded. You need to remain spiritually and emotionally grounded as, um, as not only the Divine Feminine, but the Divine Masculine in order to heal yourself so that you can heal this union on both sides. And the third card we have here is the Spirit of the Apple, Test, Offer, and Temptation. So the way I'm reading this is that there may have been a third party in the past or and or there may be a temptation to reach out and try and communicate with the Divine Feminine um, or if you're a cross watcher with the Divine Masculine. But these cards are telling you to wait. Try and hold off for a little bit. The Divine Masculine's not ready yet. You just saw that card spread. They're still thinking about you. They're still considering the situation, but if you reach out too soon, it might be enough to push them away more. A lot of divine masculines are avoidant by nature. They are closed off by nature. They don't, um, they don't know how to embrace the intensity of this union very well emotionally. So if you push them too much, they might travel farther away. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna get three. Three cards from the Twin Flame messages over here. For the record, by the way, this was the spirit of the fly up here, which is the energy of the deck, which means rotten, stagnant, decay. So some of you might be feeling that this is taking forever. You might feel like you're stuck uh, and there's just nothing that you can do to move forward, which is probably why you want to, you know, reach out but it's best to wait right now Ooh, one card <laughs> spirit of time is confirmed with it all comes down to timing <laughs> might be too late by the time i figure things out and i can't take this anymore those are three pretty uh, impressive cards here and at the bottom of the deck i know i made a huge mistake all right, so the energy is, is being aware that they've made a mistake. Um, they probably are aware that their emotions got the best of them um, in the situation and that this separation, that they have a part in the situation. Remember, um, relationships are both sides, okay? So not there's never one person that's 100% at fault, okay? But they're um, probably realizing their fault in this situation. So we got spirit of time and then it all comes down to timing. The important thing to remember here is, especially when we're talking about the Divine Masculine, they move slower when they're expressing their emotions than the Divine Feminine. So you need to take some time, rest, recuperate, really get your mind where it's got to be before you move forward. Okay, Spirit of Earth over here, it might be too late by the time I figure things out. Right? So they're putting pressure on themselves to try and figure out 
what to do, when to do it. That's probably why there's this temptation to reach out because they can't take it anymore. They're antsy, they're upset. Um, they're still feeling the intensity of this connection, which is common with twin flames. Uh, but, you know, as a divine feminine or a cross watcher who's watching this, just keep in mind, like, it's not, it, you know, this is what your divine masculine is saying to you. So they're, you're still on their mind. Um, even if you're in separation, even if you're in no contact, you're still on their mind. They're still just working through the situation. Uh, and it can be hard to wait. Believe me, I understand. Um, it's very frustrating to wait because everyone's understanding of patience isn't always the same. But if you want this to have a go in the future, you need to find your own patience. Um, and hopefully, you know, you'll be able to move forward and find union with them moving back in. All right. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is uh, going to conclude the Divine Masculine reading. Please check out the Divine Feminine reading too, and um, I'll see you there. All right, till then. Deuces.